the madman! All right, it's Paladin Reveal Day for our Titans, and boy, is this not what I was expecting. So first of all, we got an Earthen Golem package from Paladin. Uh, the Earthen Golem is, by default, and this is not a card, uh, two mana, two, two, after this is summoned, gain plus two, plus two for each other Earthen you've summoned this game. So it's like a Jade Golem, but grows at two times the rate. First up, you've got Disciple of Amidas, six mana, four, six. At the end of your turn, summon a two, two Earthen, that game's plus two, plus two for each other Earthen. You've summoned this game. That is obviously not very good. And even if it were to summon a 4-4, four, four, that still wouldn't be very good. Uh, once we get to a six mana, 4-6, four, six, that also gets a 6-6 six, six and also buffs your future Earthens. Okay, now we're talking. We got Stoneheart King. Four mana, 3-2. Death Rattle summon a 2-2 two, two Earthen. That gains plus two, plus two for each other Earthen you've summoned this game. So, again, if this is a 4 mana 3 2 that death rattles into a 2 2, pretty meh. If it was a 4 mana 3 2 that death rattled into a 4 4, eh, whatever. Uh, 6 6, now we're talking a bit. Uh, and of course, that upgrades the future Earthen Golems importantly. And then we've got Tears Tears, a amusingly named card. 5 mana Holy Spell, resurrect three different Paladin minions, set their stats to 2 2, forge, resurrect another. It seems pretty clear that the purpose of Tears Tears is going to be to attempt to resurrect Stoneheart King, Earthen Golem, and Disciple of Amidas with possibly forging it in case you got something else into the Deadpool. If you were to resurrect that trifecta, uh, your Earthen Golems would each get plus six plus six because uh, summoning those three guys will at some point summon three more Earthen Golems. Impressive. The Legendary for Paladin, a 7 mana 4 5 Valkyrie Resurrect, a 2, 3, and 4 attack Paladin, uh, actually works very similar to Tears Tears. Behold the glory of this package! The Earthen Golem has 2 attack, the Stoneheart King has 3 attack, and the Disciple of Amidas has 4 attack. Wow, so Tear is basically another copy of Tears Tear for the purpose of resurrecting this Earthen Golem package. It's a little bit like Librams, it's a little bit like Jade Golems. And it's really specific in that in order to play Tears Tears, you really want the subsection of Paladin minions that you're playing to be very, very small. So we're talking a control Paladin deck here, whose win condition is smashing in with gigantic Earthens over time. I gotta be careful not to push the Paladin bu uh, button, or do at your own risk. Don't want to get that uh, Silverhand Recruit in there. It's one of those things where I think you've got to try out the package. Uh, looks interesting. Definitely a different direction. Hard to imagine that a Control Paladin's win condition will just be to summon larger and larger men and smash you with it. And for that to be a good win condition, but I could see it. One of the cards you'll want to include in that Control Paladin will be Judge Unworthy, a strong minion clear. Four mana, set an enemy's minion health to one, then deal one damage to all enemies. So that is a four mana removal spell. Uh, also, uh, incidentally, dealing one to all enemies. Nice. Paladin's got a grab bag of other cards as well. Uh, you got Astral Serpent, a four mana, three, three dragon with at the end of your turn, if this didn't attack, draw two cards. That's actually a pretty strong card drawing engine. Plus, it's very threatening. Uh, your opponent's probably going to want to remove it. Uh, and it's a dragon, which I had to look up on whether or not there were major dragon synergies worth running. Uh, currently, not yet, but you've got the good dragons. We just need like a payoff for playing these dragons. One of the problems is Control Paladin doesn't really exist right now. And if you were to play Control Paladin, one of the new archetypes that it looks like Control Paladin plays is specifically with these Earthen guys. And with those Earthen guys, you kind of can't play this uh, three attack minion. So it looks good, but not entirely sure where it goes. Uh, you've got two mech synergy cards here. The first one looks absolutely ridiculous. One mana, one three mech, X21 repair bot. Death Rattle, return any mechs magnetized to this to your hand. So one mana, one three mech. That's like pretty solid by itself, but the bonus upside is quite large. Mech Paladin does currently run a number of magnetized cards. So X21 Repair Bot and then 
magnetize a few things onto it and then like get them back. That's good value. There's Inventor's Ore, a two mana holy spell. Your mechs cost one less, last two turns. There's been rumblings of, wow, that's a mech warper that lasts two turns. Uh, but one of the big downsides of, you know, this card versus mech warper is it doesn't come with a two, three. That's kind of a big deal, you know. And how many mechs are you really chaining together? Are you even saving that much mana off of Inventor's Aura? Now, this last two turns thing is kind of interesting because there's some extra information alongside this last X turns. This is apparently a new mechanic that's here to stay for Paladin. And in the core set, instead of secrets, uh, there's gonna be auras for Paladin. Resistance aura, this is from the core set, but it's kind of a new card. Uh, two mana, your opponent's spells cost one more, last three turns. Interesting, so you pay some mana and a card and you tax your opponent for a few turns. Seems not worth running, but you know, a cool core set card to showcase the mechanic. And you have Crusader Aura, four mana holy spell. Whenever a friendly minion attacks, give it plus two, plus one, last three turns. Okay, that card's actually pretty good uh, if you have a board. So for the uh, Paladin that has a bunch of tokens out there. So that is some really interesting stuff. Coming up next, demons? Demons. What will Demon Hunter bring? 